Whoa. This is way later. And we are back to old age. Whoa. Atlanta Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 360. Cactus 135, Atlanta Center, Roger. Altimeter setting 3017, have a good flight. Altimeter 3015, thank you, Cactus 135. Well, we've got a nice tailwind going for us. Sir, now that we're in cruise. I just wanted to say it's an honor to be here as your first officer on your final flight. This may be my first time as first officer, but I won't let you down. Eh, it's all good. Rather poetic, really. Passing the baton and all. But you should know. As my co-pilot, there's only two things I ever want to hear from you. Two things, sir? Yep. They are yes, captain, and landing gear down. You're funny, sir. What did I just say? Yes, Captain. Ah, of course I'm just messing with you. Just reminded me of back when I did my first flight as first officer, that's all. Man, my Captain Ben was a crazy mess. Yes, Captain. Mm, you know I just said I was kidding, right? Yes, Captain. Oop, you broke him. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna let my wife and the son come in and sit for a bit, if you don't mind. It's my last flight, after all. They've got, they're not gonna get this view again. Yes, Captain. <laughs> now who's messing with whom? Irene, would you bring my family in? Thank you. Right. Flight regulations were still so chill back in the day, huh? Eh, times change. How long ago was this? Well, this is before his retirement, so maybe a, a while. I guess that's Irene. What do you two say? One last round? Is it alright with management? Already approved. Special occasion at all. You heard him, huh? Go, go, go! And... None of you are very special, you know. How about we open this door? I, I bet we can't. So, you gonna miss the views? From the big birds? Sure. But it's not like I'm giving up the sky. <laughs> Neil sitting here. Oh, don't you go renting those small planes. I don't trust you flying in them. Speaking of, I wish they'd give you a bigger plane for the last flight of your career. Like one of those monster double deckers. Uh, I asked for this particular one myself. I had my first flight with the airline like it is. It was a different time back then. A time with lots of peanuts. I miss them so much. You know, Dad. All these years of flying, you never told me why you chose to be a pilot in the first place. Oh, I haven't, huh? Psst, don't tell your mother, but it was to impress a girl. Oh, is she really not listening? Yeah, did it work? Sure, I guess. Oh, please. By the way your father acted, I doubt he dated anyone at all when we met. Shots fired, Dad. Hey, Dafia, don't go spreading false rumors in front of our son. I'll have you know that I was quite a stud back in the days. No, you were, you were a lonely kid. Captain, just a reminder that we're on the record for the black box. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Let the record show that my biceps are out of this world. No, no, they really aren't. 
Oh, but they are. When I pulled that yoke on takeoff earlier, I practically lifted a entire plane off the ground. Isn't that right, Peyton? Yes, Captain. Yeah? Well, let me tell you a story about this one time involving a jar of pickles. Okay, we need to maintain a sterile cockpit for landing. Let's get you two back to your seats. Off you go now. Shoo, shoo. Aw, oh, what a lovely family. Sir, we're not landing for another couple of hours. I know. Be professional, Neil. Alright, I'm following the family. So, uh, are you coming with or what? Nah, I like this view. I thought you were acrophobic. Only when I'm not inside a plane. How about you go wrap up this memory and I'll join you shortly after. Are you serious? It's on the loop. Yeah, but the picture from the seat's angle is just absolutely divine. In fact, I pity you or anyone who can't see the way the horizon meets the... Don't give me that far... Oh, this is already landing. Thank you for the lovely flight, sir. Cheers, hope you have a nice day. Hello, little one, hope you enjoy the... The landing sucked! Uh, yeah, sorry, it was a little rough. Not one of my better landings, the wind was... <laughs> Man, picky customers. Is this ever going to end? I don't think so. Oh, it ended. And uh, let's get... Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Damn it, did I miss something? They only appear when I try to get out. Oh, a fellow cellist, huh? Here, let me get that for you. Thank you, sir. Yay! Are you good at the cello? Uh, no, really. My wife is the real musician of the family. Beautiful instrument, though. I loved playing it as a kid. Okay, that was for about cello. Probably loved to play the cello as a kid. We didn't see that in a bird story. Did we? Wait, this one is a memento? Can you even use a memento as from a different object? Because this is not his cello. Well, that explains the paper planes. Prepare. And cue horrible puzzle sequence. Not, not as horribly designed. It's like I'm, I'm always horrible at this. Well, I guess we can do this. Okay, I'm getting a little... It's getting a little weird. Sup! Dude, I was just about to... Wow, we are jumping back and forth. Ugh. How did we skip to the childhood memories again? And this time the memento isn't even the book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? Huh? It's not the machine. At least, I don't think it is. Well, I guess at least we know that we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't interfere with finishing the job. Relax, we'll manage. Better. Is there literally anything else left, Miss Miller? Nope. 
This is your instrument. Get used to it. Oh, his cello was forced on him. But he grew into it anyway. Loved playing cello as a kid. My arse. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Wow, you belong at a great school. Your childish jab society, Eva. And on, on, and on an unrelated note, this place kind of makes me feel like I'm on a set of some indie French film. Uh, what? What about this possibly makes makes you feel that way? Is he talking about the chorus? I don't know, just a feeling. Is this from, is this from the French movie? If you wanted something else, you should have lined up earlier. What a mean woman. Teachers are mean. I mean, teachers for children are always mean. I don't know. Not always. Not all of them. But we are talking about mean teachers. It's always for little children. I don't know why. Hey, don't push! I call dibs on the violin, it's so light to carry. I'm going to get a flute that fits in my backpack. <laughs> yeah, you carry that one home. Dirt, I guess. Oh, we can't get in yet. Did you see that? Is he carrying that thing or is it carrying him? Looks like just a floating case from behind. You two, you two are not that bad, actually. Huh, I have a feeling these aren't exactly replicas from the actual setting. It's as if his memory is too quite a creative liberty of mixing things up. Yeah, we kind of saw this in Birth Story. Isn't a machine built with public domain data stabilizers to prevent this? Uh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe? You're the tech specialist. Yeah, I'll have a look afterward. like Inception. I mean, the guy, uh, the, the, the game is like, is, the first game was yeah, a little like Inception too, but even more so. Oh, nobody's playing with him. Wow, this is awkward to watch. Eva, why do we get all these losers as our clients? Maybe because you're here, moron. Oh well, that's a nice compliment and the gauzy's law for magnetism. Oh, we got three balls. Let's go back to that room. Colin? Oh, it's the mean teacher. Colin! Uh, the answer is C. What? <laughs> it's not the... It's not the question he was thinking of. I'll ask you again. What is the radius of this circle? Uh... Where's your head at, Colin? Go stand out in the hall. Okay, this actually... Be getting really similar to a bird story. Well, what is this? Hmm. That could be our ticket out of here. Alright, I think we could reach it if we just... Nah, I got this. Let me find a way. Find a way to get it. Really? Bring his chair 
here. Hold on. I'll get us to the clock somehow, because it's just in this room there. Uh, the plant. Alright, now watch this. Is that a freaking wand? Wait, you didn't dis you didn't disable the Mobiliabros uh teacher's deskers. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! And down. Did your kids just flipping see that? Dude. Reset. Okay, first of all, disable reactive interactivity before you pull that stuff. And second of all, that's not even how that spell goes. Uh, yeah it is. Did you see the thing fly? They sure did, you village idiot. Whatever, let's get the clock. I mean, wouldn't it be, they be a little surprised that the desk is suddenly over here now? I was expecting you to start saying dumb things again. Eva, do you know how draining it is to unleash a Kamehameha and a Hadouken simultaneously? I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty sleep. Whoa. Oh, at last. Whoa! Did, just, did that just happen? Well, that was pretty nice, but I'm not gonna pretend that I did that on purpose. Let's do this. Hell yeah! Are we back at the old age period again? Well... And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. We sure are. Okay, I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. With all our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories in his oldest time, everything went just normal. But then, we somehow got a slingshot it. All the way to the earliest accessible memory. S so we cleared that and once again leapt back to the older times where we left off then to the earlier ones again moving forward and once more to the older time moving backward these jumps aren't in the random order and nor do they form just any pattern it's the pattern of a decaying orbit it's almost as if we're being pulled in Spiraling toward a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for physical aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh so deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentleman? I don't know, maybe it is a memory of the sort, but maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What could be here under the memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients and 
There's never been a memory that's done this. Alright, I guess at least this one isn't routine then. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see indeed what's going on here. Oh, this guy's Fred. One bedroom with balcony and there's also an, an attic for storage. How often do you find the attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. Yeah, but if this unit is on the edge, you can see it if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, I have a brochure. How desperate do you want to see the river, though? Sorry about the mess in the living room. The previous owners had to move in a hurry. There's a balcony, you said. Yep, it's got a great view, and given how high it is, you can certainly fall and... I mean... Yes, balcony. It has that. Well, Fred, you are just the nicest person. Is the area quiet? Oh, yes, ma'am. It's quite like a graveyard. I mean, uh... Yes, it is tranquil. Sorry, it's my first time being an agent. I can tell. But hey, a successful transaction for your first time. That's pretty awesome. And this is the kitchen. If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that it hasn't had even one fire accident. Of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burned down, being an apartment and all. Uh, I mean, of course it won't happen, because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, um, fire safety is very important. Wow. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just really new at this. I don't mind. <laughs> I would very much like, like all everybody who provides services like me to be like this. That would be that would make life so much more entertaining. Is that the brochure for the apartment okay you said you're a musician right this room is perfect for performances there's very little room for naughties though so you'd probably be playing alone which is kind of sad but I digress Also careful with those stairs, but you all seem to have rocket hips, so no problems there. You know, it's amazing that they actually went with this and bought this apartment. I mean, maybe they rented, I don't know. And as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Residence. Nope, don't see the lake. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but if you extend your head off to the off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. Don't though, you'll fall off. Okay, on we go. <laughs> he has memories about the balconies. Yeah, that bird is probably long dead. Whoa. Huh, wasn't this just a brochure a moment ago? Yeah, I guess I just folded it. What's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right... Memento! Being a memento, it's kind of odd that it came to be without a scene. Huh. In any case, at least it's convenient. I didn't see another way out of this place. So, what do you think? Well, it is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help. At all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now. More like 
ran out. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not good at sales. So, uh, sorry to be blunt, but are you going to take it? Because there's a deposit fee, you see, which technically I could elope with, but I promise I... Stop talking. We'll take it. Mm -hmm. But that's one sales tactic. Um, wait, what, what was that? Thank heavens, my wife is gonna murder me if I didn't make a sale by this month. Wow, the death of a salesperson. So, where is the last ball? We've been everywhere, we've done everything. Let's get down again. Oh, we didn't go upstairs, did we? An attic and an apartment? Isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating and the utility units for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it would probably hit pretty close. Okay, I'm trying to feel spooked about the memory leap thing, but this isn't helping. On the other hand, it is kind of suspicious that they carved out a single storage attic. Okay, this is a very entertaining sales pitch, but we gotta get going. can do a lot with this, I think. Again, a lot of restrictions. True that I could have only got two of them. All right, guess we're going back to Kid Colin. We're back here. Slink back again, huh? Yep, your theory, your theory still checks out. Okay, let's place bets. What? That's on what's causing this anomaly, of course. Your guesses versus mine. Oh, get a life. Dave's on first guess then. Bet you ten dollar it's about a girl. Suddenly a romantic, aren't you? No, just the fact that with these things it's always about some girl. Not everything is about some girl, Neil. Besides, I think we've seen enough from his own memories to say that he's happily married and... Hey! What the hell is going on? Oh. Well, that's a new perspective. Didn't know about that. What you doing up there? Yes, you! I see you standing up there like that every day. What are you doing? What are you always looking at? Well, it's not 
Sophia, by the way. There you are. So, got a name? Uh, you do have a name, right? Colin. What? I can't hear ya. I said my name is Colin. Huh? You're Colin? What? What? No, uh, let me just... Hold on, I'll be right back. He had... Do you have to take the dog? Dude, it's... If, if it's so far away that she can't even hear you... I doubt she can ride on... Oh, he's got a paper plane over there. That's cute. Oh, that, that's a nice move. I wish I had that kind of math skills. Doesn't seem like he's playing with it much. Poor room dog. Yeah, it's an emotional replacement. What do you expect? go through this plot first. Hey! I'm gonna throw this paper plane over. I wrote stuff on it, so just catch it, okay? I was gonna say, just speak louder, but... Okay! <laughs> He's just showing off. Okay, here it goes! Oh no, 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 it's against wind! Uh, hold on. Come on, nature. Mother nature is a fucking cock blocker. Donkey has no respect for the laws of physics. He's like nine, dude. Hey, it's all right. We all get performance issues. You need to concentrate, okay? I don't think it's about... Just keep your eyes on me and throw as hard as you can. If you try hard enough, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you! It's not gonna work. Okay, okay, I can do this. Here it goes! It's not gonna work. Okay. Wahaha! <laughs> you should have seen your determined face. That's not funny. You can't throw it against the wind, silly, no matter how hard you try. What do you think was gonna happen? I'm going inside. Okay, wait, wait, don't go. So, Colin, right? So she did hear it. I thought you didn't hear. Yeah, well, I think I've actually seen you on the way to school. What does that have to do with... You go to the one just across the woods from here, right? Yeah? Oh, well, I go to the one just across the street from yours. The private school? Yup, yup. Lucky. Why? Well, because it's all exclusive and costs money and stuff. Um, I guess. People are all snobby there, though. They are? Nah, I'm just trying to make you feel better. <laughs> hey, let's walk to school together next time. Why? Cause I like you, silly. You're just the right amount of dumb. What's that supposed to mean? Besides, have you have you heard about the bear attacks in the woods? No, I've only seen badgers. What do you hear? Oh no, I didn't hear anything either. But that's why I'm suspicious. It's a little too quiet. Anyway, we practically go the same route, right? It'd be good to stick together. I guess so.
Uh, that's a very appropriate reaction. What was that? Hmm? She just ran back in when they came out. Uh, it's not it's not that uncommon for kids to be scared of their parents. Back when I was young, I knew a kid who had one scary mother. Saw her spanking him with his spatula once. Never ate her brownies after that. Fade the girl across the balcony. Wait, why do I have two for cello? Colin loved playing cello as a kid. Colin hated playing the cello as a kid. Yeah. Well, you could have both at different stages of childhood. What are you doing, buddy? What a weirdo kid. Oh, another clock. Don't you dare do anything. I'm getting this one. Let me at least take it off the wall for you. No! Just don't. It's not even that high. We don't need to take it down. Oh, cool. But we still need to gather balls. So he's watching TV again. On the upside, I wish I had a TV all to myself when I was a kid. You and Rudog. Today's classical guitar concert is sponsored by Meow Blend. Why can't we have a jingle this catchy? One can only dream. Coming up next on Classical Replay, The Godfather, the Classics Replay. Hold on, I kinda wanna stay and watch this. I, so do I. But it's like three hours. And the client is dying in real time, so that's probably a bad idea. Oh, what's on the fridge? Uh, a blurry note from Colin's mom. He's in the toilet. He's playing in the toilet? Why is he practicing in the bathroom? Because the bathroom reverb makes the sound awesome, of course. You sure seem knowledgeable. Actually, yeah. But I used to like singing uh, singing in the bathroom when my parents are home oops didn't mean to share that uh well back when i played the triangle i did it all the time wow wow not even the fabled bathroom reverb could save the crap don't be mean to him, he, he gets better. Okay, let's get out of here before he's ready to attack our ears again. Could you actually get out? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, 